Chapter 14 Rupees and Paisa. Here are a bunch of different rupee notes and coins we have. Here is a 1000 rupee note. Here is a rupees 500 note. Here is a rupees 100 note. Here is a rupees 50 note. Here we have a rupees 20 note, and over here we have a rupees 10 note. Here is a rupee 5 coin, and here is a rupee 2 coin, and here is a rupee 1 coin. Using these notes and coins, let's represent different amounts of money. How would you show rupees 330? We can show this by 300 rupee notes and 310 rupee notes. Let's try another one. Here we have a rupee 50 note, two 10 rupee notes, and a 1 rupee coin. So here we would have rupee 71 in total. Say you want to go shopping, and while you're shopping, you want to buy one packet of chips. Now, this packet of chips is rupees 10. You also want to buy two candies, and each candy is one rupee. You also are really thirsty, so you want to buy a box of juice. And one box of juice is rupees 10. Now, how much money do you think you need to buy all these things? So let's add them up. So we know that one packet of chips is rupees 10. So that's 10 plus you're buying two candies, which is one rupee each, so that's plus two, plus one box of juice, which is rupees 10. So we write plus 10 equals rupees 22. So now you have a hundred rupee note on you. How much money would be left with you if you buy these things? Let's subtract 22 from 100 equals 78. So that's how you know you have rupees 78 left. Now let's try another problem. Say you paid 49 rupees for 7 pencils. How much did each pencil cost you? Let's divide 49 by 7. Using mental multiplication, we know that 7 times 7 is 49. So 49 divided by 7 is 7. So remember to practice by doing more fun sums on your own. Math sure is fun. I know I have lots of fun doing it. Well, see you later. Have fun practicing. Bye-bye. Thank you.